what is up ice fishing freaks luke reeser here from too fat to hunt outdoors welcome back to an all-new episode another ice fishing episode today i'm back out on the mississippi river in this highly populated pond where everybody and their brother likes to go ice fishing and there's a reason for that because there's fish here and there's a lot of fish here so this is the second time i've been out here yet this year and once again i got here really early um, there was like six people ahead of me but I did get here before dark and I waited for Mike and Hunter to get here and then we ventured out. So once again, another intro that I'm gonna record at the end of the day. But anyways, the main purpose I wanna go out today is because I wanna catch up on some tip downs. I got a new one from Christmas. Mike got me a tip down for Christmas. It's designed for pan fish, which is perfect because that's what I like to fish for. And then I'll get the dangler out too and I got like six dozen crappie minnows. So we're gonna try that and then we're also gonna jig. So stay tuned. Schlon hunting starts about three hours ago. All right, folks, made it out here. Mike got me this tip down for Christmas, so I'm gonna take it apart and use it. It's pretty cool. Pull this out. Hold your rod here. Fold these legs out. Screw that in like so. Pop that up like so. Hunter, can you can you get that off me? Yeah, I already hooked myself. Is it really? Yep. All right, so now you got these fancy little rod here. Get yourself out a minnow. And there we go. Oh no, a little further. Alright. Time to get after him. There we go. Ooh. Feels like a good fish. Yeah, it's a good way to start off. Michael. There's a baby. Another decent one. Don't touch my dinner. Little girl, we'll throw her back. The old silent stalker. There he is. There he is.
is stuck in the hole. It's <clears throat> a little miniature one too. Closer to that eight inches mark, probably seven, seven and a half, seven three quarters. Yes, sir. And I love this long rod and stuff. There we go. Just a baby. As I'm dinking around with my GoPro. I was getting an SD card error. Was trying to reset it. Felt the bite. A couple really nice marks down there. Don't think this is one of them. Nope. Still a dandy mark down there. Come on, big girl. Get it before the little ones do. Oh, that might be him. That might be him. Oh, yeah. Big sunfish. Big pumpkin. That was him. <laughs> There's a dandy right there. Big freaking toad. Another big mark down there. There he is. I said I might as well keep going and clean them out. For some reason this hole's hot right now. They're pretty tight to the bottom. There he is. There you betcha. Hunter, your tip down. Oh. That feels like a good fish. You bet. Donk. That's a donk there. There we go. Feels good. Yes. There he is. That's another solid one. You bet. Big Mississippi River bluegill. There he is. Yeah. It'll keep. Little 
pumpkin. Just need one more big one. Don't think this is him. God, just a touch bigger. I think I might have some in my limit his size. We're not going to end on a six incher. That one feels decent. Yeah, that's the one right there. <laughs> That'd be what we end on. Limit. Wonder what he's gonna say now. That's a wrap, folks. All right, we are off the ice now, back to the truck. Pretty good morning. Limited out. It's like 10:30 in the morning right now. It's quarter to 11, but I, I had my limit by about quarter after 10, 10 o'clock, something like that. Whew, I'm a little exhausted. That walk kind of gets me every now and then. But yeah, everything I caught today came jigging on the long rod, the Shocker custom ice rod, little three millimeter schnozberry jig with a waxy. I didn't even have to splooge it today. They were biting it so good. And uh, I did notice, and I told a, uh, a kid and his dad this who were struggling over there. I did notice every bite ahead, the waxy had to be dangling, like just hooked through the head, hook not exposed or they wouldn't touch it. That was me. Now what Mike was doing, I don't know. I'm pretty sure he had like three waxies on a huge, jig and he's doing pretty good i think he had 16 when i left hunter was sleeping in the truck when i came here he came back to get some cheese curds so i just woke him up and told him to get back out and fish such a dick i am yeah anyways folks so these long rods are the real deal i'm really loving it and uh, i think i'm gonna love it throughout the rest of the year so yeah now i get to go home and clean 25 big freaking bluegills if you have not yet subscribed to Too Fat to Hunt Outdoors, go ahead and do that right now. Hit the bell to get notified every time we put out a video. Clobber that thumbs up. Luke Reeser signing off. Always remember, you're never too fat to fish.